hello friends i'm adhishri so i'm going to show my project so the project name is carom board okay and this is class third and the class name is traditional programming okay do you know carom board it looks so beautiful we like to play okay so hi i have made just uh two pucks and one striker come on with view so i'm going to click on view project to see the project okay so this is the project so this is striker and these two are pucks so i'm going to play so the right is to move corner okay move the right corner so uh, you are foul like the striker went out so you are foul and uh, even the uh, even the puck one puck went out so it's asking to push another one also okay i'm again uh, reloading this okay we'll start from once again okay so see i made it again so i'm going to click and write okay so you are fine because this uh, striker went outside so but we'll play at the last but before we have to click on view code right so we'll click on view code to see the code what i wrote okay clicking on view code so these are in blocks do we need blocks no we need in so text but before this we have to sign in okay you can sign in I, i'll first sign in okay so i clicked on sign in so i'm going to sign and i'll uh, i'll show you my project so i sign in so it came like this so this is the project you can see conditional programming class 3 so this is class third in class i made like this okay so we are going to view the project so this how i made in class but in that uh, in this i didn't make any lines but in that i made a line and one puck two pucks one puck there in left side and one puck in right side okay this is in class so i'm going to show you in my project okay so this is carom board see you can see the carom board now so i'm going to show you that how i did okay so rect rectangle 1 rectangle 2 rectangle 3 rectangle 4 rectangle 5 rectangle 6 rectangle 7 rectangle 7 like that are these lines these lines are called rectangles okay and ball so this ball and striker ball 2 ball 2 is this and ball is this striker is this okay we have just created the sprites so i have get background what you know right i said in last class the main thing is background color and draw sprites okay so create edge sprites also, also which we want to collide or displays or anything okay so ball dot bounce off rect so ball should bounce this ball should bounce off rect rect 1 rect 2 like that is there even striker and uh, the three three things should bounce off the rectangles that what i wrote bounce off you know right what is bounce off so that one is called bounce off i'll say one second bounce off means the rectangle will be in that place but the striker will bounce and it will go but the rectangle will not bounce okay 
if bounce means the both each other will bounce okay so you can see now i wrote even for a bounce also ball dot bounce striker so the striker should bounce the ball or ball should bounce the striker i wrote like this okay do you know what is if key down up arrow striker dot velocity x is equals to zero striker dot velocity y is equals to minus two hmm? i will say you so do you know up arrow down arrow right arrow and left arrow up arrow means i'm clicking up clicking up arrow okay for down arrow clicking down key see i uh, for right arrow i'm clicking right arrow or uh, right click okay right key see i wrote striker dot set speed and direction do you mean that what is uh, striker uh, set speed and direction it is the right side or side which we want a 45 degree 135 degree at which C I'm going to delete this so see this is the angle and this is the speed it shows so I'm writing 45 it comes in 45 the striker is coming in 45 if I uh, wrote ball uh, dot uh, set speed and direction means it will come like that okay so I wrote uh, for left means 135 for right means 45 okay so text push me out of the screen 100 100 so these uh, means what is this you can see means x and y where uh, where the position should be where this text should be so like that okay and push me or you can write like uh, like I'm writing now push you can see only push okay it's here push so I'm uh, writing again so you can see full see push me out of the screen okay so can you see if ball 2.x 400 <coughs> if ball 2 dot x 0 if ball 2 dot y 400 like that means if the ball 2 is uh, pushing outside this is the ball 2 if I am uh, the striker is pushing outside means it will come you want okay in the, if I push this is ball right right ball ball 1 ball 2 so this is ball dot x 400 greater than 400 ball dot x lesser than 400 so it shows that text push another one also i mean if it went outside or any side uh, it will ask to push another one also it will say that to push this one also okay then if striker dot x greater than 400 if striker dot less 400 like that uh, text you are foul the striker is going out so you are foul okay so I have given the comment also first you have to push the ball one and then you have to push the ball two also then you will win okay so I have been said you draw sprites what is draw sprites I can I'll say you the draw sprites is to draw a object or sprites or anything so I'm going to comment and see that how it works even you can also see nothing will show only this thing will show okay so I'm realizing the draw sprites so everything will be shown so can you understand uh, I'll say once again also Correct. I am creating the. See, I have wrote these uh, comments also. Actually, these comments will not show. If I am uh, erasing the comment, means it will show. Missing semicolon before step. Missing semicolon. is hasn't been declared. It. Left hasn't been declared. It. We have to declare it. Okay. So I am putting this. 
so it will not take care of this commands we are just writing the command for everything so variable uh, so this is the leg left side of rectangle so this is upside rectangle so this is a uh, right side rectangle and this is <coughs> downside rectangle okay so and this is inside inside okay and this is uh, actually for this we no need to write a velocity okay when the striker is touching it should move so i have created the uh, balls strikers okay and uh, i will say once again what is background so i'm putting comment you can see what is going to happen i'm uh, clicking a right see it shows like this can you understand this see so uh, we it looks like something bad so I'm erasing to show it as white color so if you need in any color means uh, I'm writing in um, yellow okay it shows in yellow color like that it will come in any colors if we uh, we can write any color so i'm writing white itself it looks beautiful and nice for it because this is the first uh, thing i'm doing as a game and uh, you know bounce off and bounce right so ball dot bounce of rectangle if uh, i'm before writing create edge sprites you didn't write for example you are not writing a uh, create edge sprites you forgot it and you are writing directly like a ball dot bounce of rect like that means see what happens like that so push another one also it's asking to push another one also okay so i clicked on so i'm going to click on left arrow so you foul because this tiger went outside so you are foul okay you, you actually main thing you have to write the create edge sprites okay main thing you should write create its sprites okay so this is ball or bounce striker so the striker will bounce of the bounce the uh, ball and this is if key down up arrow like uh, I'm so this is the statement condition for the up arrow down arrow or uh, any arrow which we want to click it will uh, it will come so text push me you know write this thing so push me out of the screen or else i will write that uh, push push the bugs out of the screen so now you can say push the bugs out of the screen okay if you want to uh, see nicely, I'll uh, write like um, 150. No, I'll write like 25, 125. See, you can see push the pucks out of the screen. It is also it's nice, right? So you can write whatever you want. Okay, and push another one also. When the ball uh, ball one is uh, going also it will ask to push another one also okay and when the striker is going uh, outside this uh, carom board uh, it will come that you are foul okay so first you have to push the ball and then you have to push the ball too and you will win okay uh, so I'm thinking that you can understand now so uh, this is nice game and you can also develop like more okay you can develop more like this and even I will be continuing my videos so comment 
uh, if you're having any doubts and I'll also reply you okay so like share and subscribe for more videos here after I'll send more videos uploading more videos to see the projects okay so I am thinking that you can understand that what I said and what I showed you okay so uh, I got uh, 100 points I got 100 points so that I completed the project okay so I, I was clicking here to view the project and I show you the projects okay thank you bye don't forget to subscribe, like and share.